Welcome to this video in the series Word for Writing Academic Papers in English Language Journals. This is the finale, the last video. And in this video, I will be demonstrating formatting a paper from the template. So what I'm going to do is I will open the template in Word, I will open another journal paper, and I will then select the text from the journal paper and copy it into the template. To save time, I've already opened the template and I have already opened the target paper that I want to reformat. So, using all those abilities in Word that you have been shown in the various videos, I will select all of the text and I will copy all of that then I will go back to here where I will select all the text and I will copy all the text from that other paper into here okay now what is obvious okay I don't want that what is obvious is that this, like every other paper around the place, has certain styles. Uh, this is the title, and I want to use the styles that are set up in the template. Remember, this is the template document. We already have the title set up, so I want the heading, the title, to be title style. There you are. The title is now according to how it is required for the Nares One journals that I've been talking about. Now, if we go to here, oh, this is the abstract. A paragraph which I will say is normal. But I'll do a quick little change here because the journal style I want puts that in the center and I will call that therefore a heading what happened to my heading one style it's here somewhere it's heading two uh, there it is heading one style now that's heading three oh. so I will apply styles let's have a look at all of the styles available Ah, heading one, there we are. Slight glitch. I have formatted this on another computer and I used another version of Word and so sometimes things aren't exactly in their place. But nonetheless, I now have a heading one. So, heading one, I can check that, go and have a look at the navigation panel. Uh, here we are, heading one. I already have various other headings. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so keywords I want to be normal. Here is a section of the paper from another journal that's not necessary here. And now we have the introduction, which should be heading one. Yes, there we are. Here we have normal. Now what I could do to make life simple for myself is to take all of the text I can't select all because I've already made a few changes all of the text down to here and call it normal okay that gives me a head start maybe if I start from the bottom here you see here I have references well they should be heading one heading one's disappeared again there's heading one and as you may recall I had set up a references a references style so that's now in references style I notice a couple of interesting little problems here bringing that across I want to put that pro pro possible and proper continuity anyway nonetheless there's our 
references styles. Here we're back to normal and normal, okay, everything's normal. Here I want a heading one again. Okay, if I come up here searching, searching for another heading one. And as I recall, ah, barriers to implementation, that should be a heading one. Um, things like student interest and enthusiasm, that's a heading two. Where's heading two gone? Here we are. And so on. So I can spend about 10 minutes using the template, all the pre-prepared styles that have come with Word or that I have created, set the fonts, set the uh, paragraphing, and I can go through here very, very quickly, as I say, maybe 10 minutes, and change all of these. Here's one that I haven't done. Now I've got here two quotes. So I'm going to add a new style and I'll call it quotes style. Okay, style based on, well I'll say I don't want it based on anything. I want it to be a style all on its own. Okay. Now I will format that style. It's Eucrosia UPC 14. And I want the paragraph to be on the, I oh know, to be justified. But I want one centimeter in from the left margin and one centimeter in from the right margin. I want six points before and after, and I'll state, okay, I want exactly 14 points line spacing. Okay, so there it is. Oh, I forgot. No, don't worry, I don't forget. Quotes, there we are, there's quotes get rid of this, but I actually wanted quotes to be italic, so as soon as I change the style everywhere that I've got that style changes, and maybe I can do some more formatting with some more subheadings or whatever, but the point is, by using the template that is provided to you now on the Graduate School website. Use it when you are writing papers that you're going to present to the NU, or the Graduate School for the journals that we, uh, we control. But also use the template. You may have to change the, some of the styles, or you might have to change the fonts from Eucrosia UPC to perhaps Times New Roman, but whatever, using styles, using the template is going to make life a lot easier for you. And therefore, I suggest very strongly that you understand about the template, that you know about the template, and you use the template. So thank you very much for viewing this video. This is the final video in the course. You can download the PowerPoint slides for further study. All they will do is point you to the documents that you have to uh, use to run the PowerPoint slides. And now you can start to view another video course called Writing Academic English which I am about to start to uh, create, and that also will be put up on the Graduate School website. So for now,